Kuchisaki Ono was a legend that haunted the streets of Japan. A ghostly apparition of a woman with long flowing black hair and a surgical mask covering her mouth. The legend of Kuchisaki Ona dates back to the feudal era in Japan, where she was a woman who was brutally disfigured by her husband. Her face was mutilated and she was left with a permanent scar from ear to ear. She became so obsessed with her looks that she started to wear a surgical mask all the time. She took her own life, but her spirit never found rest. She returned as a vengeful ghost seeking revenge on anyone who dared to question her looks. The legend of Kuchisaki Ona was passed down through the generations, and it became a popular topic among children. It was said that she would appear to children walking alone at night, asking them if they thought she was pretty, and then she would remove her surgical mask to reveal her disfigured face. She would then ask the children again if they thought she was pretty, and if they said no, she would kill them with a pair of scissors. Kuchisaki Ona was once a beautiful young woman, the wife of a samurai. She was known for her stunning looks and her kind heart, but her husband was deeply jealous and possessive. One day, he accused her of cheating on him and took out his anger by slashing her face from ear to ear. Kuchisaki Ona was left disfigured, and her husband fled the scene. After that, Kuchisaki Ona disappeared from public view only to re-emerge as a ghostly figure with a white surgical mask covering her mutilated face. She wanders the streets of Japan, often appearing to the children as they walk home from school or play in the park. The first sign of Kuchisaki Ona's presence is a soft whisper calling out to the unsuspecting child. When they turn around, they are met with the sight of a woman with a long, flowing dress, her face covered by a surgical mask. She asks the child, is she pretty? And if the child says no, she disappears. If the child says yes, Kuchisaki Ona will remove her mask, revealing her grotesquely slit mouth, and ask again. At this point, the child is in mortal danger. If they say yes again, Kuchisaki Ona will leave them alone, disappearing into the night. However, if they say no, Kuchisaki Ona will kill them with a pair of large scissors she carries with her. These tales have been told for centuries and have been passed down from generation to generation. Some believe that Kuchisaki Ona is the ghost of a woman who is wronged in life and is seeking revenge. Others believe that she is a demon or a spirit that preys on the innocent. The legend of Kuchisaki Ona has become so well known in Japan that it has even inspired horror movies books, and video games. But for many Japanese people, the story is a reminder of the power of the supernatural and the importance of being careful when walking alone at night. One man, who wished to remain anonymous, shared his own encounter with Kuchisaki Ona. He was walking home from work one night when he heard the soft whisper behind him. He turned around and saw a woman in a long dress, her face hidden by a surgical mask. The woman asked him if he thought she was pretty, and he hesitated before answering. He said yes. Then she removed her mask, revealing her grotesque, slit mouth, and asked again. The man quickly said yes, and ran away as fast as he could. Although many people believe that the story of Kuchisaki Ona was just a myth, there have been countless reports of sightings over the years. Some say that they have even seen her wandering the streets at night, while others claim to have heard her whispering in their ear. For those who believe in the legend, the best way to protect oneself from Kuchisaki Ona is to carry a piece of iron or steel with them at all times. It is said that these metals can repel evil spirits and demons, and even help ward off Kuchisaki Ona. Whether or not the legend of Kuchisaki Ona is true, it has become part of Japanese culture and folklore. Her story serves as a cautionary tale to children and adults alike, reminding them to be careful when walking alone at night, and to always be on the alert. Ayako was with her friends at a sleepover, and they were telling each other ghost stories. Ayako was the most scared of them all, and her friends took advantage of it. They told her about Uchisaki Ona and how she would appear to her when she was walking home from school. 
Ayaka couldn't sleep that night. She kept thinking about Kuchisake Ona and what she would do if she ever saw her. The next day, Ayaka walked home from school with her friends, but they had to split halfway because they lived in different directions. Ayaka was alone, and she started to get scared. She kept looking over her shoulder, expecting to see Kuchisake Ona behind her. She quickened her pace, but as she turned a corner, she saw a woman in a long, flowering dress with a surgical mask covering her mouth. Ayaka's heart started to race, and she froze in fear. The woman started to approach her, and Ayaka could hear her footsteps echoing on the pavement. Ayaka couldn't move. She was too scared. The woman stopped in front of her, and Ayaka could feel her breath on her face. She was pretty sure this was Kuchi Sakeona. Do you think I'm pretty? The woman said. Ayaka, concerned that it was Kuchi Sakeona, said yes. The woman slowly lifted her surgical mask, and Ayaka could see a long scar from ear to ear. She was Kuchi Sakeona, and Ayaka was about to die. Do you think I'm pretty? Kuchisake Ona asked. Ayaka was too scared to answer, but she knew if she said no, she would be killed. She thought of what her friends told her the night before, and she remembered the way to escape Kuchisake Ona. She said yes, hoping it would be enough to save her. Kuchisake Ona smiled and put her mask back on. She disappeared into the night, and Ayaka ran home as fast as she could. She was shaking with fear when she got home, but she was still alive. She had survived an encounter with Kuchisake Ona. The next day, Ayaka told her friends what happened, and they were amazed. They had never heard of anyone surviving an encounter with Kuchisake Ona. Ayaka felt proud and a little bit braver. She thought she had outsmarted the legend and that she was safe from Kuchisake Ona. But Kuchisake Ona was not done with Ayaka. She had tasted Ayaka's fear and wanted more. The next night, Ayaka was walking down the street. She had defeated Kuchisake Ona the night before. She felt confident to take the shortcut in the alley. This was a fatal mistake. She heard footsteps behind her, and she saw a movable trash can slam into the building where she was going, blocking her way. She turned around to see who was behind her. It was Kuchisake Ona again. Do you think I'm pretty, she said. Ayaka paused to think about what to say. She said yes again, as it seemed to work before. Kuchisake Ona seemed to get irritated by her answer. She said, then why did you run away? Not knowing what to say, Ayaka looked for an exit. Kuchisake Ona said, there is no escape for you this time unless you tell me the truth. Ayaka thought, fine, I'll tell her. I'm sorry, but you were hideous. You're the ugliest creature I have ever seen, and you should hide in shame and never come out so no one else can see your disturbing face. Maybe you shouldn't have been a cheating whore, and you wouldn't be so ugly. Kuchisakeona cried and said, thank you. Thank you for being honest. She disappeared, and the alley exit cleared. Ayaka was free, and had defeated Kuchisake Ona. She got home, and made sure there was no lurking shadows in the apartment. When she was satisfied that it was safe, she relaxed. She took a shower, and steamed up the mirror. When she was done, she wiped the mirror to see herself. What she saw was the last thing she would ever see. She saw Kuchisake Ona behind her, wearing her mask and holding the biggest pair of scissors she had ever seen to her neck. Then everything went dark. Suddenly, there was no pain. Hey, Spooky Sooner here. Uh, I only got one more story left, uh, Techie Techie. And then after that, I'm kind of out of ideas. So if you guys have any uh, requests, send your request to SpookySooner7964 at gmail.com. 
uh, feel free to visit my Patreon page at Spooky Sooner. There you can see videos that I've already posted, uh, scripts for the videos, and some concept AI artwork that was either used in the stories or was a proposed idea to be used in the stories. So lots of cool stuff in there if you enjoy uh, scary, spooky things. But no kidding, I am out of stories and recordings, so I'll have to start from scratch, start writing and all that stuff. If there's a series that you like, please let me know. Thank you, and stay spooky. Hold on, I'm just looking it up real quick. <laughs> she would ask the children again if she's pretty, if they said no, she would kill them with a pair of scissors. Okay, so she, if you say no after she removes the mask. Okay.